On this episode of China Uncensored, 2020 Tokyo Olympics, a huge mistake. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. Without the least bit of irony, state-run media, the Global Times has released several editorials criticizing Japan's unjustified exuberance at winning the 2020 Olympics. Now, mind you, one of the editorials was written by someone calling himself a scholar living in Japan, so we know he knows what he's talking about. Now, let me give you a little context here. China hates Japan, but that's a whole big ball of yarn for another day. Okay, now obviously winning an Olympic bid is a source of pride for any country, but Japan is stupid for celebrating because this is just the beginning of the end. You see, you have to understand the psyche of the Japanese. The country suffers from severe mental depression. From a devastating earthquake and tsunami? No. Because of an economy that just won't bounce back from the real estate bubble that burst in the 90s. I mean, who would know better the dangers of a housing bubble than China? This is why, as I know from reading these editorials, every Japanese bookstore is full of books about how Japan needs to get back on track. I mean, hosting the Olympics costs a fortune. The 2020 Tokyo Olympics will cost $4.4 billion, according to one of the editorials. That's just social resources being wasted rather than creating wealth. But when the Chinese government spent between 30 to $40 billion, 9 to 10 times the figure for Japan, that was totally taxpayers' money put to good use, like building this architectural spectacle that is mostly empty now. Look, the Olympics are nothing but trouble. The Chinese should know. For the 2008 Beijing Olympics, they had to evict 1.5 million people from the city just to build the necessary infrastructure. Not to mention going through the hassle of orchestrating a wave of terror to keep dissidents from acting up as the international community turned its gaze to Beijing. Then there are all the people who try to grab the Olympic torch and hold protests over your atrocious human rights record. That happens to every country's Olympic torch relay, right? Really, Japan should be thankful that these state-run media care so much about them. After all, they did try to protect Japan from all these troubles by announcing that Japan had lost its Olympic bid before the final decision was even made. Instead, they said it was Istanbul that was the winner. So what do you think about the editorial's dire warnings for Japan following the Olympics? Let me know what you think, and be sure to check out China Uncensored's Facebook and Twitter. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.